Every journey has its own beginning. For Arkansas State University, that beginning came 100 years ago, when in the fall of 1909, the Arkansas Legislature established an agricultural training school near the small town of Jonesboro in northeastern Arkansas. Over the years, the university has grown from these modest beginnings to be one of the largest higher education facilities in Arkansas and leaders in sports, academics, and the arts. During this exponential growth, we here at Facilities Management have been on our own journey. A journey to excellence. The journey to excellence is our strategic plan to fulfill a commitment to excellence that is at the core of our mission. Servant leadership is the primary vehicle for carrying this plan forward with continuous improvement. Since we believe leadership is truly, truly for everyone, all staff in all areas of our organization at all levels are encouraged to embrace their role as servant leaders. Well, I started with facilities here when I was uh, 18 years old, right out of high school. Really had no intention of staying. I was just going to stay until I got out of college. Uh, this particular job's opened a lot of doors for me as far as I've been able to uh, get my master electrical license. Uh, I've got my boiler operator license. They've sent me to several schools on elevators, fire alarms, and, and different things. And it's just, uh, uh, it, it's helped me tremendously. For the past 30 years, I've been a job that I've enjoyed coming to, not one that I've uh, woken up in the morning and, and dread going to work. I've always enjoyed it. By definition, a leader is one who influences others in some ways. A servant is one who puts the needs of other people ahead of his or her own and acts to meet the needs of others. We each influence others around us every time we speak or act in some way. In every action we take, we choose to serve either our own purposes or the purposes of others around us, that is, our customers and our coworkers. By taking action that first meets the needs of our customers and coworkers, we build trust and we ensure the success and satisfaction of those we're serving. This philosophy is practiced in all areas of ASU facilities management, which encompasses seven departments. Being the leader in my area is uh, getting the job done and working with the employees and working alone beside them. That's what really counts also. But also uh, the customer service, you know, you have to always remember them because that's what really counts. Uh, I'm a leader in facilities management by just on my, on my crew, I help train people, I help be a better person to help people work through things as far as needing them if they need any help or help them with anything or just be there being a strong team player. I think they're starting to get things together as far as the new FMOP and they're starting to get all that stuff together, the new handbook, the new orientation. So I think in the next year I see the Journey to Excellence being a nice program and a nice long-term commitment to the, to, the, to the university. This journey has been a uh, ongoing journey and uh, it's a track of improvement of daily, uh, daily work. And uh, our craftsmen and workers here at ASU take that very seriously. And we've moved forward uh, in this effort to be the best and work on a, a track of excellence. I think it's unlimited to where uh, ASU facilities can go with the group of people that we've put together here uh, they, they have this unlimited infinity uh, abilities to serve and take care of our customers daily. One thing that we do that's very, very unique as far as energy conservation, uh, most campuses, especially our size and larger, will contract out uh, the energy management automation for, for the HVAC, the heating, ventilation, air conditioning control. Uh, we do all that in-house. And by, by doing that programming in-house, we are able to have a better quality control. We have the ability to uh, uh, go and make changes that are, are not uh, uh, typically possible unless you get a contractor to come back in, which costs more. So in a way, we're getting better energy management, better thermal comfort, 
uh, better indoor air quality uh, by having that programming in-house and we'll also be able to serve our customers uh, much better and, and save energy. Everyone here at Facility Management is like a, like a, a your own little family. You feel very, if you got a problem with anything, you can ask any of the guys or anybody and they will answer and help you out and try to fix it and so forth. And you feel very welcome there. And I feel that anyone can come to me. If they have a problem, we'll figure it out. And if I don't know the answer, I can always help them find the answer. I've been very impressed with the level of morale and service that facilities management folks have provided. I've also been equally impressed with the planning and construction department and all the folks who do maintenance. We've managed over $100 million worth of new construction for the last three years in a row, and that's a pretty daunting task, and I'm very proud of their accomplishments. Here at Arkansas State University in the facilities management group of departments, we do not want managers who only see themselves as leaders or drivers, nor do we want employees who only see themselves as servants or unthinking robots. We want people at all organizational levels to see themselves as both servants and leaders. In all areas of ASU facilities management, the most integral part in our journey to excellence is our people. Everyone is a leader in their own right and is empowered to embrace their own journey to excellence.